My name is Viva Bartkis. I'm an associate professor at the University of Notre Dame and a member of the Board of Directors of Catholic Relief Services. Both sides of my family, on my mother's side and my father's side, are from Lithuania. My family was also all displaced during World War II. Eastern Europe was divided up by Hitler and Stalin. The Soviet Union got Lithuania. It was a very brutal occupation and both sides of the family were part of the partisan movement that resisted Soviet occupation. As the Germans came through, they then occupied uh, Lithuania on their way to uh, attacking the Soviet Union in 1942, and then as the war shifted, the Soviet Union came through again in 1944. Refugees were moving across Austria and Germany ahead of the Soviet army. Germany was collapsing, there was tremendous Allied bombing, and my family fled Lithuania just ahead of the Soviet army as it was marching west. How do you flee a country? Well, you leave everything behind. You leave photos, you leave friends, you leave your home, you leave your homeland, and you walk because there isn't any other transportation. You leave very quickly based on how the war shifts, and you leave with the clothes on your back and maybe some memories and maybe a few valuables that you can sell later for food. There were thousands of refugees or displaced persons, probably millions across Europe. These refugees or displaced people were organized into displaced persons camps. So from about 1944 until 1949, both my father's side of the family and my mother's side of the family lived in these camps. My aunt would tell these funny stories about how displaced people from Eastern Europe were not used to canned food. Because of course you would just get food from you know, farmers or from, you know, the market, the outdoor market. But she grew to love all of the canned food because you knew once there was a shipment of food coming in from War Relief Services, now CRS, you would at least have more food coming from the common kitchen and more to eat. Um, she also remembers, and my mom remembers, and my dad remembers that it's, it was very, very cold. And so Catholic Relief Services shipped blankets and warm coats and things like that from the generosity of American Catholics. Of course, it was tremendous pressure to resettle these refugees. In 1948, Congress and President Truman lifted the immigration ban. That opened the way for hundreds of thousands of refugees, displaced people, to come to the United States. But how to do that? It turned out that War Relief Services was absolutely instrumental in not just the transportation, but all of the processing of getting many of these refugees, including my family, to the United States. My dad's family came through Ellis Island and New York. My mom's family came through Boston. And War Relief Services helped them get on their feet. If it weren't for the organizational ability the lobbying in Washington and the generosity of Catholic Relief Services, there'd be no way I'd be here telling you the story of my family. My mother's side of the family and my father's side of the family are just so incredibly proud that there's even some small way I can serve the same organization that helped them during the war, after the war, and coming to the United States. I think only in a place like America could you go in one generation from being refugee to being on the board of directors of such an organization.